To his friends and co-workers, Tim seemed polite and mild-mannered, but what they didn't know is that Tim was a killer. He was always real shy, real kind of quiet guy. Um, He'd come into work, uh, he knew I liked Oreos, so he would stop by my desk in the morning and say, are you having Oreos, Tracy? I'd say, no. That morning, he came into the office like normal, and he said hello. But something about the way he said it just, I said, oh, I think I saw your car out by the old grade school. And he said, oh no, that's not my car. Okay, this doesn't add up. We're at the restaurant and I see him at a corner of my eye dragging this dead horse through the whole restaurant. They didn't stop once. And I thought, okay, something is going on. And he says to me, he says, knock, knock. I said, who's there? He said, interrupting cow. At which point I said, interrupting Cal. And before I could finish, he said, moo. So I called my sister and uh, I told her, I explained the events of what had happened. And um, she said, you're gonna stay on the phone with me. You're gonna go to the car gonna go to your car, you're gonna get all your CDs out. Because my primary concern was for my sister and her CDs. And I asked him, I said, did you kill your sister? And he said, yes. And something about that didn't sit right with me. I knew something had happened. I have had CDs stolen out of my car and uh, it took me years to replace um, was hell for my family. 